welcome to Aishas IS Institute. In this video, we are going to discuss the Nobel Prize 2019. So, Nobel Prize for Medicine was the first Nobel Prize announced. So, presently, the Nobel Prizes are being announced. The Nobel Prizes are awarded on 10th December of every year, and that is the death anniversary of Alfred Nobel. So, here we'll start with Medicine Nobel Prize for 2019. It is three researchers who have been awarded the Nobel Prize for Medicine. They are William. Kalen Jr. from USA. So he's here. Then you have Sir Peter Radcliffe from UK and Greg Semenza from US again. So they will jointly share the Nobel Prize for Medicine. The, the Nobel Prize has been awarded for their discoveries of how cells respond to various le varying levels of oxygen in the body. So this is the Nobel Prize in Medicine. It has been, you should know, Nobel Prize has been announced since 1901. And the youngest Nobel laureate in medicine was in 1923 to Frederick Banting for his discovery of insulin. He was 32 years old. And then in women, 12 women have been awarded a medicine prize, Nobel Prize as such. And the oldest laureate has been 87 year old. He was awarded in 1966, Mr. Peyton Rose for his discovery of puma inducing viruses. Now we'll understand in detail the Nobel Prize in Medicine 2019. So as we uh, discussed, it is for work on how cells sense and adapt to oxygen availability. So there are various functions in our body. Oxygen plays an important role in our body's cells. It allows adaptation of their metabolisms and production of red blood cells and new blood vessels. It is also important for our immune system and also plays roles in diseases such as anemia and cancer. So, so you can see the functions which it performs are mentioned like it helps in metabolism so this is the gist of what we just discussed metabolism in production of red blood cells as well as new blood vessels so this is its functions and it helps in you know, controlling diseases like it helps our immune system uh, it, it plays roles in important role in diseases like anemia and cancer so looking further at what it all is about so when oxygen levels in our body is low so that is means our body cells are having low oxygen levels that is there in hypoxia. So low oxygen levels called hypoxia. So at that time the level of a hormone erythropoietin which is called EPO erythropoietin. So this hormone increases level of this hormone increases EPO and here you can see the EPO is being released and because of this uh, you know production of red blood cells increases. So we need more RBCs then because oxygen level is low. So, how RBCs, how this entire process is triggered is through a protein complex. This protein complex is called H1F, HIF1. So, this protein complex binds, builds up in low oxygen condition and it binds to DNA. So, you can see the DNA here. So, it binds to the DNA to promote EPO production, erythropoietin production. So, that's the process. So, you can see oxygen level low, this protein uh, complex becomes active. And it binds to DNA and this results in erythropoietin production increasing and because of this red blood cells production increases. But then when the normal oxygen conditions are there then H1F is there. This protein complex is already there HIF1A. So it is it has to be broken down. So for that addition of hydroxyl groups of H are, is happening. So OH group hydroxyl means OH group. So OH group is added to HIF1A and this results in the VHL protein to recognize and bind to it. So rather than HIF1 it binding to the DNA, what happens is this VHL another protein as such binds to HIF and that results in degradation of this uh, HIF and it is sent to the pig. So it prevents it from binding to the DNA so that more uh, red blood cell production is not happening because there is no need for it. So this is normal oxygen condition. So this is the research, understanding how a body responds to oxygen levels is why the Nobel Prize has been awarded for 2019 in medicine. And why is this research important? It is highlighted because this research, of course, it helps us understand how oxygen levels affect cell functioning, cell reactions. So based on that, you know, the drugs that can activate or block these oxygen sensing mechanisms can be used in treating cancer and other diseases. Like in anemia, when you know, there is requirement of RBC, so then you know, this, this, this entire process being understood can help in developing drugs which can take advantage of this and can treat diseases like cancer as well as anemia and other diseases. So this is the Nobel Prize for Medicine. Thank you.